And today I'm going to do a comparison between the Bear Bark All-in-One and All-in-Two nappies. Today I'm going to do a comparison on two of the different Bear Bark nappies, the All-in-One and the All-in-Two. They also make a pocket and a wrap, but I feel like those are a bit more self-explanatory about what the differences are. But I wanted to run through the differences on these two. I have already reviewed both of these separately and you can find the links up above to the reviews for each. So the All-in-One retails for around £24 and then the All-in-Two retails for £22. So a little tiny bit cheaper. I've just put them both down to their smallest settings on the rise. I think the All-in-Two has the ability to size down ever so slightly smaller on the leg holes here. I find the All-in-One leg holes a little bigger than the All-in-Two. And then the width as well. The actual soaker pad in the All-in-One is probably only the same width as the all-in-two the shell is a bit looser so the all-in-two i think is a smidgen smaller overall it just in sort of the way it fits and then if we open them up onto their full rise as you can see they are pretty much the same in terms of popper settings they've got the same amount of rise poppers on the front the poppers on the waist tabs are the same and it's a bit more tricky to see because the all-in-one has got the elasticated waist but the poppers on the waist panels are the same as well one advantage in my eyes that you have with the all-in-two is that because it doesn't have the binding around the edges is you get a cleaner fit on the front when you've got the poppers on the smallest setting on the waist because on the all-in-one this binding just makes it raise up a little bit but you don't get that on the all-in-two because it hasn't got the binding it's just top stitched around the edge when they're on the smallest the tabs sit nicely together but that does also translate to when you're on, you know, a wider waist setting. So just like this, for example, you've got, they do line flatter against the body, I think. Which, with the all-in-one, it does still stick out a little bit. It's really a cosmetic issue, though. Back elastic as well. I just think the all-in-two sits nicer. It, just the way, because it's not binded around the edges. It just sits flush with the body and it just gives a cleaner line. So this one is sort of more springy and just the way the shell is, I think the all-in-two gives you a sort of nicer, smoother silhouette. Only the all-in-one has a tummy elastic, so if that's a feature that you really like in nappies, then the all-in-one is probably better suited to you. Inside they look quite different, but they are kind of the same. So they both have a P or tummy panel. Only the all-in-one has PL at the back though, the all-in-two doesn't. So what I'm showing here is the all-in-one with the stage right insert and the all-in-two with the bamboo. But these are interchangeable in the sense that you can also buy a stage right insert for the all-in-two and you can get the all-in-one in the bamboo version. The makeup of those inserts in Eva Nappy, in the same number of layers, so a very similar level of absorbency. The only difference is the insert on the all-in-one is ever so slightly wider so that will give like a smidgen more absorbency if you're looking for more absorbency then the terry option is the one for you because it is more absorbent although of course that does make it slower drying and it's not stay dry line so you'll need to add a liner if you don't want your baby to feel wet but if you like the stay dry you can have that in the all-in two or if you like the bamboo you can have that in the all-in-one both inserts have the secondary gusset design so you've got the outer elastics on the shells and then the inserts are elasticated too so that gives you sort of an extra barrier and helps increase the containment so they've both got that feature in terms of prep time the only one is just as it is it comes out the wash it dries and you pop that straight back onto your baby the all in two the insert poppers off so it's an entirely separate piece and then you can pop it back on obviously that is slightly more prep than just having the all in one um, it does mean it dries faster though because you're separating the insert fully from the PUL so the air can circulate more easily. So it's that trade-off about whether you prefer the faster drying time or the not having to do any prep. So I hope you found this useful. As you can probably tell, I do prefer the all in two. I think for us it just gives a nicer fit and the faster drying time for me is important. Hopefully it was useful to see the two side by side and how you decide which features are best suited for you and your circumstances. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please give it a like. If you have any comments, drop them in the box below and subscribe for more content.